Three major competitors in the hot cereal market are General Mills, Kellogg's, and Quaker. The equation below demonstrates a customer's brand loyalty described as a fraction of their existing customers. An equation representing General Mills' brand loyalty is below, given by g of k, q. We're asked to calculate the critical point in the form k, q, g and interpret the result. The first step is to locate the critical numbers, which is where the first order partial derivatives are both equal to zero or do not exist. We begin by determining the partial of g with respect to k. To find the partial of g with respect to k, we different g with respect to k, treating it q as a constant, which gives us zero plus six plus eight k minus zero minus 20 q plus zero, or just six plus eight k minus 20 q. And now we need to find the partial of g with respect to q now we differentiate g with respect to q, treating k as a constant, which gives us zero plus zero plus zero minus 40 minus 20k plus 90q, or negative 40 minus 20k plus 90q. And now we set both equations equal to zero and solve as a system of equations. But let's simplify the equations. Let's divide both sides of the first equation by two, which gives us three plus four k minus 10 q equals zero. And let's divide both sides of the second equation by 10, which gives us negative four minus two k plus nine q equals zero. And now let's move the constants to the right side. For the first equation, let's subtract three on both sides, which gives us four k minus 10q equals negative three. For the second equation, we add four to both sides, which gives us a negative 2k plus 9q equals positive four. And now let's solve the system using elimination. If we multiply the second equation by two, notice how the k terms will be opposites. So now we will keep the first equation the same and multiply the second equation by two. Multiplying the second equation by two, we have negative four k plus 18 q equals eight. And now we add the equations together. Four k plus negative four k is zero. Negative 10 q plus 18 q is eight q. On the right, negative three plus eight is positive five. Dividing both sides by eight, we have q is equal to five eighths. So for the critical point in the form of k comma q comma g, we now know that q is equal to 5 eighths. And now to find k, we take any of the equations, substitute 5 eighths for q and solve for k. Let's do that using this equation here. Substituting 5 eighths for q gives us negative 2k plus nine times 5 eighths equals four. Nine times five eighths is 45 eighths. Let's subtract 45 eighths on both sides, which gives us negative two k equals four, four over one minus 45 eighths. Common denominator is eight. 32 eighths minus 45 eighths is negative 13 eighths, which gives us negative two k equals negative 13 eighths. Solve for k we multiply both sides by negative one-half. Negative one-half times negative two is one. One times k is k. k is equal to, on the right, positive 13 sixteenths. Now that we have the critical numbers, we need to find the g coordinate, which is equal to the function value g of 13 sixteenths comma five eighths. And I've already set this up on the next slide to save some time. G of 13 sixteenths comma five eighths is equal to 15 sixteenths. I found this function value again by substituting 13 sixteenths for K and five eighths for Q. Now that we have the critical point, we need to perform the second partials test to determine whether we have a relative min or a relative max. To perform the second partials test though, 
we need to find the second order partial derivatives. Let's begin by determining the second order partial with respect to k, which means we differentiate the first order partial with respect to k with respect to k again, which gives us eight. We also need to find the mixed partial, the partial g with respect to k, then with respect to q, which means we differentiate the first order partial with respect to k with respect to q, which gives us negative 20. We also need to find the second order partial with respect to q, which means we differentiate the partial g with respect to q with respect to q again, which gives us 90. And now we calculate the value of d. d is equal to the second order partial with respect to k, which is eight, times the second order partial with respect to q, which is 90, minus the square of the mixed partial, which is negative 20, which gives us 720 minus 400, which is equal to 320. So now that we know that d is positive, and the second order partial with respect to k is also positive, looking at our notes, we know we have a relative minimum. Normally we say the location would be the ordered pair k comma q, the first, the first two values in the ordered triple. And the function value 15 16 is the actual relative min. And now let's interpret the meaning of this result. Remember, the function value demonstrates the customer's brand loyalty described as a fraction of their existing customers. So because we have a relative minimum of 15 16 at the very worst, 15 16 of General Mills hot cereal eaters would remain loyal to the brand. This would occur when 13 16 customers remain loyal to Kellogg's and 5 8 customers remain loyal to Quaker. Notice these last two values are the values of K and Q of the critical point. And then one last thing, let's verify the results graphically. The surface is the graph of the brand loyalty equation and the black low point is a critical point that we found that represents a relative minimum. And the order triple for that point is 13 16 comma 5 8 comma 15 16 I hope you found this helpful.